What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back with Polish Pickup April 2021 with the theme, the 90s. This month, I have 41 items to show you guys. So you know what that means. It's a personal challenge to myself to see just how quickly we can get through this in the most efficient way possible. I also want to uh, remind you guys, per usual this month, I have a sponsored giveaway. I will be picking 10 random names from the comment sections for this video, and you will be selected to win a $10 PPU gift code. I will add the winners to a pinned comment as uh, that seemed to work really well last month and the giveaway will end Wednesday the 31st at 6 p.m. Central Time. So I will reply to your comment and if so, uh, just shoot me an email and I'll get your code to you. So without further ado, let's dive right in. First up is 1422 Designs Affirmation. This is described as a dark blue polish with pink hollow glitter, purple hollow glitter, silver hollow shreds, and blue flecks. This is inspired by the Affirmation album by Savage Garden. Price is 11 and there's a cap of 100 bottles. So this, um, I love this song, P.S. Uh, I still jam out to Savage Garden. This has a very strong jelly feel on application and it builds up very easily. Now I want to note that the glitters and the larger uh, holographic shreds in this one, they're quite a bit on the heavier side. So I'm gonna strongly suggest going in real thin on your coats and, and allowing it to slowly build to opacity. Now, when you do this, you're gonna need three coats and I think it's going to uh, definitely give you some really good coverage for your smile line and it's gonna give you the best payoff with all the glitters in this. But again, these are quite heavy and I'm gonna also strongly suggest using a glitter smoothing top coat of some type along with a glossy top coat and uh, it'll prevent any sort of texture and it'll leave you nice and smooth and also kind of maximize the sparkle effect from the glitters and the holographic shards here so that's exactly what you're seeing on my full hand shot and next is alchemy lacquers never mind this is described as a periwinkle jelly nail lacquer with purple metallic flakes green to turquoise to blue shifting flakes and green to turquoise to blue shifting shimmer this is inspired by nirvana's second album price is 1150 and there is a cap of 200 bottles so the formula on this also has a crelly like feel to it and uh, it builds up very nicely, really smooth sort of formula. Now for uh, opacity, I'm going to suggest three coats on it. I think that third coat really helped to darken out that base color and bring out that wonderful periwinkle uh, somewhat with a blue undertone to it, depending on your lighting base color. This is packed full of flakes, really flattering color and it does dry down semi-flat, so I think a good glossy top coat will finish it off nicely. Now you are seeing Glisten and Glow's glossy top coat on all the polishes in this video, more on that later. And next is Aurora, Shrine of the Silver Monkey. This is described as a deep charcoal jelly base with blue geometric micro glitters and scattered hollow. This is inspired by Shrine of the Silver Monkey from Legends of the Hidden Temple. Price is 12 and there is a cap of 200 bottles. So the formula on this is what I would consider on the jelly side, but it applies like a straight up very dense micro glitter. Now this dries down quite textured, quite thirsty. So I'm gonna strongly suggest a glitter smoothing top coat underneath your glossy top coat. And uh, it just really maximizes that glitter looking appearance. So in the sunlight, this will absolutely sparkle quite a bit. This is uh, really intense on that glitter factor. I'm really digging it. And uh, it just looks so phenomenal when it's smoothed out and super glossified. And uh, just a really interesting combination here with that uh, charcoal gray and that blue appearance. And Baroness X brings us 90s blues. This is a blue fluid art polish with sterling silver flakes. Price is 12 and there is no cap. Now I'm speeding this up like tons and tons of uh, amounts just so that you guys can just really get straight to the point of how to do this. I think at this point, those of you who are tuning into my polish pickup videos each month, uh, you've kind of got an idea of how I like to do this. 
and you really only need one big giant decal as uh, what I found. Uh, I typically like to mix it with either two or three different cream colors and just kind of spread it across the uh, silicon mat. So I think a baking mat would do well with this or if you have a nail mat that works too and just spread it out until it's as thin as you possibly can make it without being too paper thin. There is a bit of finesse to this and uh, just let it dry down. So typically when I make massive decals like this for uh, these PPU videos, uh, I will let it dry down for maybe 40 minutes or so. I just kind of go do something else and then I come back and it's ready. You want to gently peel it up off your mat and uh, it shouldn't be so dry that it's crunchy, but it should also be just slightly tacky and it kind of helps it to adhere to your nail when you are cutting it down to size it to your nails. Now here you can see I'm kind of using the uh, PPU cuticle stick and it just kind of helps as another use for it uh, to press it down, clean up, and I'm also using Baroness X's Hydromancy Glossy Top Coat. This is a thicker top coat. I really like it. It's got this really um, strong jelly sort of feel with it. Kind of reminds me of Jealous if you've ever used that. And it dries out really glossy. And I like that it's a little thicker. So if you're using decals like this, it kind of offers a little more forgiving uh, of your design and your cleanup ability. So uh, both of those will be in the shop as well. And by Danny Viana brings us floating gold. This is a mix of gold holographic glitters and gold metallic flakes, giving a luxurious look, whether worn on its own or over other colors or in nail art. This is inspired by an inflatable chair, price is 12, and there's a cap of 500 bottles. P.S. I always wanted the, one of those uh, inflatable glitter chairs. I wanted one so bad, um, but I digress. So this is uh, very sparkly. As you can see on that first coat, it can absolutely work as a topper, but I do think it looks so lovely when built up on its own too. So if you choose to wear it and just really want that sparkle, I think two to three coats is perfect for full coverage on it. And it's very sparkly. Now this one, um, I didn't have any problems in terms of texture. I think the sparkly effect is made up mostly of flakes. So everything lays down nice and flat and there's not uh, a gritty issue with it. Now by Danny Viana also brings us a mood swing. This is a Crelly blue gray base with a duochrome shimmer and teal to lavender. This is inspired by mood rings. Price is $12.50 and there's a cap of 300 bottles. So this has a very smooth, creamy formula to it. Very easy to build to opacity. And for full coverage, I'm going to suggest two to three coats on it. I personally found that two coats was just right and it smoothed everything out. This is a really lovely, interesting color combination in that in indoor lighting and in normal lighting, at least in my opinion, the shimmer takes on this strong sort of aqua green sort of effect. And at angles and shaded lighting and whatnot, it has this really lovely sort of dusky purple shift to it. Very nice. Now it does dry down flat, so I'm going to suggest a good glossy top coat. And by Vanessa Molina brings us Moon Prism Power Makeup. This is a blurple jelly base with pink to gold to green Aurora pigment and hollow micro flakes. This is inspired by, of course, Sailor Moon. Price is 13 and there's a cap of 300 bottles. This is very glowy in person, very easy, rich type of formula. It does have uh, what I almost want to consider more of a crelly sort of finish in that it plumps up really nice and, and it also allows all of that shimmer to just pop like crazy. So I think two coats is perfect on it and finish off with a glossy top coat. This one in indoor lighting has a strong fuchsia cast, but also easily shifts over to gold and green. Now, Van Vanessa Molina also brings us a cuticle oil this month. This will be 1050 with a cap of 300. There's just adorable little flowers in there. And uh, the formula to this cuticle oil is one of the thinner types that I've used. And it soaks in really nicely. And uh, I've actually had some really bad dry skin uh, from being so sick. So uh, I can use all the moisture I can get at this point.
This soaks in really nice. Again, it's got a thinner type of consistency to it. And the smell to me is a very strong, powdery sort of floral scent. And Cameo Colors Lacquers brings us Double Denim Days. This is a light medium denim blue curly with a blue to indigo shimmer full of scattered hollow sparkle and silver hollow micro flakes. This is inspired by denim fashion. Price is $11.50 and there is a cap of $105. So again, very curly formula, easy peasy to build up. I really liked how the holographic flakes in this one get this strong sort of scattered effect. They are of the, what I consider almost the small to medium size, and uh, they just give this really nice prismatic sort of appearance. Now for opacity, I'm gonna suggest between two and three coats. It's really gonna depend on your preference. I personally found that that third coat helped plumped it up really nicely. This dries on semi-gloss, so I think any top coat will be perfectly fine with it. I didn't have any problems in terms of texture or anything like that. And there's also that really nice, deeper sort of blue shimmery effect too at certain light angles. And next we've got Crystal Knockout. This is Crushes and Cassette Tapes. Described as a bright blue base with matte hex glitters and hot pink, bubblegum pink, and mint green. Matte lavender micro bars and a bright aqua glow in the dark effect. So this is inspired by Cassette Tapes. Price is 11 and there is no cap. So uh, this one absolutely glows in the dark with this really bright uh, aqua color. Now this has a very jelly formula to it. It's quite squishy and it's got that juicy jelly sort of appearance when you go in with a very glossy top coat. Now I'm going to suggest a light to thin coat of a glitter smoothing top coat for this one just to prevent any sort of um, drying down or thirstiness from this and uh, go in normal on your coats. Just allow it to build up and it gets that really nice deep blue sort of appearance. You'll get this pond effect between the bar glitters and the normal glitters here and everything just kind of meshes together really well. Now here on my full hand shot, again, I've got a really thin coat of a glitter smoothing top coat along with a glossy top coat just to kind of even everything out. And Cupcake Polish brings us I Love You, You Love Me. This is described as a magenta cream polish filled with green to blue to purple to pink iridescent flakes and a hint of blue to purple to pink shimmer. This is inspired by, of course, Barney. Price is 13 and there is no cap. So this has a very curly formula to it. It does dry down really flat. So I'm gonna suggest a very glossy top coat to seal it off. This builds very quickly to opacity. And uh, I do think on my monitor here, it's looking pretty color accurate to what I'm seeing in person. This is absolutely a Barney sort of purple, just the slightest bit lighter. And I do agree, it's more of a uh, magenta sort of purple appearance in person in case this one does come off skewed on different screens. So again, on the full hand shot here, you are seeing a glossy top coat. And Cuticula brings us her Mic Drop Base Coat. I have raved about this one in the past. It is a ridge filler. It's also a uh, somewhat sticky base coat, really nice. And even if you have a gel overlay like myself, uh, I still think it makes for a fantastic milky sort of color that offers even more protection. So I like to wear this one at two coats, or as you can see here, one coat is really nice too, and it just gives that nice softened sort of milky effect. Now Cuticula brings us also playing games. This is described as a turquoise jelly base with blue to green ultra chrome shifting flakes with black shreds and hexes in two various sizes. This is inspired by the Game Boy Color. Price is $12.50 and there is no cap. Now, before I move on to uh, this one, I also wanted to note that the uh, Mic Drop base coat is scented in raspberry sugar. Really pleasant, sugary sort of raspberry berry-like scent. So back to playing games, this has a very jelly formula to it, very easy to build up, and that base color is something else. It's 
absolutely reminiscent of the uh, Game Boy Color that it's inspired after, and it builds up really nice. So I think three coats on this is going to pop the best and just really maximize that base color and finish off with a glossy top coat and it gives you that really nice juicy jelly sort of appearance. Um, again, this is a really flattering base color and it pairs really well with that mic drop base coat. And Different Dimension brings us Talk to the hand. This is described as a white curly polish with assorted shapes and sizes of neon matte glitters and it glows bright aqua in the dark. This is inspired by the 90s. Price is 10 and there is no cap. Now the formula to talk to the hand is um, very dense and it's a little bit on the heavier side. So I'm going to suggest going in normal on your coats and uh, just note that I think it's the glow in the dark pigment, uh, at least in my experience. It tends to make polishes dry down very flat, very matte. So I'm going to suggest a really glossy top coat, maybe even a uh, glitter smoothing top coat just to kind of amp up that glossy effect and smooth everything out. And uh, this one also glows quite brightly, very blue in the dark. And Different Dimension is also bringing us a cuticle oil quad. These are four scents in 90s inspired smells. Cucumber melon, sweet pea, pear berry, sun ripened raspberry. The quad will be 12 and there is no cap on them. So I can finally smell again. I'm so excited. It's amazing. Um, I really liked the scents on these. This is uh, quite nostalgic. And this Pearberry one is very pleasant too. So uh, easy peasy. And I think for four of them, that is a great price. And Emily Damali brings us Ode to No One. This is a dark purple jelly base with copper gold to green to blue iridescent flakes. Price is 12 and there is no cap. So this has a uh, just something else sort of finish to it. The flakes are very, very strong. And for opacity, I'm going to suggest either three very thin coats or two normal coats. It builds very quickly to full coverage and it dries down uh, semi flat. So I think a good glossy top coat helps to seal this one in. You can see here on that second coat that it's given me really good coverage, especially from all those flakes. It has such a strong, strong iridescent effect and uh, just so much shift from those flakes. Very, very lovely. And that backdrop of that nice dark purple just kind of amplifies that shiftiness from them. And Fair Maiden Polish brings us Luke Periwinkle. This is a pastel multi-chrome with a periwinkle base. It has an ultra glowy shimmer, shifts in violet purple to violet blue, inspired by Luke Perry. Price is 11 and there is no cap. So this has a curly formula to it. It stays put exactly where you put it. A really nice, very self adherence type of formula if that makes sense and uh, really helps to make those nice tight lines against your cuticles. So for opacity, I'm going to suggest two coats on it. If you have slightly longer nails than what I've got at that point in the video, uh, you might need a third coat, but it plumps out really nice. It does dry down flat and I'm going to suggest a glossy top coat and at angles, it does have this really nice luminous purple glow. And Femme Fatale brings us Comet Dust. This is a dusty reddish when warm to purple when cold state thermal filled with red iridescent flakes and scattered magenta holographic micro glitters. This is inspired by the Hale Bop Comet. Price is 14 and there's a cap of 280 US and 20 UK. So this has a very jelly formula to it. I think for full coverage, three coats is going to be perfect. This dries down very matte, very flat, uh, just a touch on the uh, thirsty side with all the goodies going on here. So you're going to want to finish with a good glossy top coat to seal it up. And I think that third coat really helps to make everything pop very well. Now the temperature reactivity to this one is very strong. As you can see on, especially on this third coat here, it's transitioning very easily for me and it is building up very nicely. Now, again, I would suggest a good glossy top coat, uh, maybe even a glitter smoother just to kind of help even out that very strong uh, thermal like matte dry down. And here on the ice water shot, you can see 
really nice temperature reactivity between the warm and the cold state. So you'll get that obvious appearance with your temperatures. And Glistening Glow brings us Ode to Overalls. This is a medium denim blue with red to gold to green color shifting shimmers. Inspired by the one strap off the shoulder overall look. Price is $12.50 and there is no cap. So this is a very lovely medium blue. It's quite vibrant in person. And the shimmer is also uh, on the medium sort of strength. Now this has a very creamy, smooth, somewhat crelly like formula to it with the fact that it's got this uh, bit of a bouncy sort of squishy feel when you're applying and it plumps up very nicely and it self levels really well. So I think two coats is gonna be perfect on it and also, Glisten and Glow, P.S. speaking of, uh, is also bringing us her glossy top coat this month. This is $7.50 and there is no cap. I have used this a ton on this channel and in my swatches. It's a really wonderful top coat, dries down very quickly, uh, passes my banging my nails on my tripod test, and uh, it leaves me nice and glossy, and it does absolutely uh, get pretty solid in dry time between two to four minutes, and it does not smear nail art. And Hearts and Promises brings us Rami plus Michelle. This is a hollow pink micro glitter polish with an aqua shimmer. Each polish will include a mini set of post-its. This is inspired by the movie Rami and Michelle's High School Reunion. Price is $12.50 and there is a cap of $200. I really liked this color. Um, there's just something about it. It's soft and delicate. I almost feel like it's going to make a perfect like bridal sort of polish too. It's very, very pretty, very sparkly, and it has that nice light sort of blue glowy shimmer with it too. Now I wore it at two coats. You could see a touch of my smile line, but it was just, it just looked purposeful to me, if that makes sense. It's very soft, very uh, blush sort of champagne like, and uh, just really nice. So if that bugs you, I would suggest a color correcting base coat. But honestly, I really liked how sparkly, but at the same time, soft and delicate this was too. And Indie by Patty Lopez brings us Fashion Doll. This is a pale teal curly base with white matte glitters and silver hollow micro glitters. This is inspired by Madonna in Bedtime Stories era. Price is 12 and there's a cap of 250 bottles. So this has a, a very jelly formula to it and it slowly builds up to intensify that base color. I'm going to suggest three coats on this and uh, you'll just need to do a tiny bit of careful placement with the glitters on this one as uh, some of the larger glitters I found uh, kind of stick to the sides of the neck as you're pulling out uh, with the brush. So uh, just be mindful of that and on your final coat, like what I'm doing here, just kind of move those larger glitters around to get more of that scattered, uh, dense effect with them. Now this does dry down semi-flat, so I think uh, a glossy top coat is perfectly fine with it. I didn't find it to be overly thirsty per se, uh, but those larger glitters may need a glitter smoothing top coat. And Lemming Lacquer brings us Black Hole Sun. This is a black to burgundy to dark red multi-chrome with red to orange to gold to green iridescent flakes. This is inspired by the music video for Black Hole Sun by Soundgarden. Price is 13 and there's a cap of 200. So this has a very uh, heavy sort of jelly feel to it, uh, in my opinion. I think for opacity, two to three coats is going to work really well with it. Uh, just note that it does have that heavier formula and the flakes are of the larger size. So just go in soft and slow as you're building it up just to uh, get that nice even dispersal of the flakes. So. The base itself is that uh, wonderful black to red multi-chrome that we've all come to uh, absolutely fall in love with. And the flakes here kind of give this more warm sort of color roll in their own regard too. So quite a bit of shiftiness with this. At extreme angles, you'll see that red color roll effect in the actual base color. And I'm also gonna suggest a very good glossy top coat to seal this one up. It's not so much that it is textured, uh, the flakes lay down nice and flat, but it is uh, quite thirsty because it's a little thicker.
And Luna Wax brings us this adorable scoopable wax in the scent fruit stripe gum this is inspired by legend of zelda a link to the past price is 10.50 and there's a cap of 100 of these this thing is quite large you guys and it smells i'm serious it smells exactly like fruit stripe gum it's awesome i'm so excited that i can finally smell again i was going to be so bummed if i couldn't smell this one and uh, this is just so stinking cute. So it comes with this adorable little uh, plastic shovel here. And you just scoop out what you need and you put it in your wax melter. And uh, it smells like fruit stripe gum. It's awesome. It's really, really cool. And um, that is, uh, in my opinion, quite a bit of wax in this. The whole thing is meltable. So uh, except the uh, canister, of course, uh, but the hearts and the shapes and stuff, all that is absolutely meltable in your melter. And MJ Lacquer brings us thank you for being a friend. This is a holographic yellow base with hues of copper to red, bronze and gold. There is an assortment of micro glitters and flakes along with red to gold Aurora Shimmer. This is inspired by Blanche from the Golden Girls. Price is 12 and there is a cap of 320 bottles. So the formula on this is Crelly like and it builds up very quickly to opacity. So quite a bit of this uh, coppery brassy sort of sparkly effect and it builds very quickly up to full coverage. So here on that second coat, you can see I've got really nice, just really in my face kind of sparkly effect. Now this does dry down uh, semi-flat. So I think a good glossy top coat will help to maximize the sparkly effect when you are finished. And MLF Lacquer brings us Bel Air Fresh. This is described as a light aqua featuring aqua to blue to green to pink to gold, color shifting flakes, a dash of red to orange to green, Aurora Shimmer, and silver holographic flakes. This is uh, going to be 11 and there's a cap of 200 bottles. So this has a very curly like formula to it. Again, we see this very easy, smooth build up here to full coverage. I think two coats is going to be perfect for most and uh, a good glossy top coat as this one dries down uh, a little bit on the flat side and it also kind of helps to bring that really strong iridescent effect from the flakes. And Nail Artisan Cosmetics brings us Let Your Heart Decide. This is a teal blue to soft white thermal polish with gold shimmer and desert sand colored flakes inspired by Aladdin. Price is 13 and there's a cap of 200 bottles. So this is my first time working with this brand actually and I was really excited um, to uh, just try them out in general. And overall, I'm very impressed. This has a very very smooth easy formula to it as you can see on the second coat here it's staying exactly where i put it so wonderful in that regard this has a strong jelly finish to it and uh, quite a bit flirting with being a bit on the crelly side too because uh, it definitely dries down almost like this uh, flat sort of cream so easy peasy transition between the thermal states on this one and the shimmer complements both states and it's quite strong in person and you'll get that nice glowy effect especially from the flakes here too now going in with the ice water shot here you can see this is absolutely our wonderful favorite disney couple here and uh, i think it really nails the inspiration and night owl lacquer brings us just a girl this is a white curly with black shreds silver holographic micro flakes and a mix of gray to purple to bright yellow to hot pink glitters. This is inspired by uh, No Doubt. Price is 12 and there is no cap on it. Now this has a curly formula to it. And uh, I do think that the flakes, the uh, little black shreds here and some of the glitters, these are what I consider more of the uh, heavier size particles. So I'm going to strongly suggest going in real thin on your coats and just letting it slowly build up. So um, personally, I think three very thin coats. If you feel that you can uh, do the uh, icing method, kind of like what I did here on the second coat, uh, you might be good there too. Just kind of help to uh, just spread everything nice and thin across your nails. And I'm going to strongly suggest going in with a glitter smoothing top coat underneath your glossy top coat to prevent any texture.
and polish brings us streetwear this is a vintage plum packed with hollow flakes and bright green to aqua to blue shifting pigment this is inspired by uh, the old revlon polish price is 13 and there is no cap so this has a very smooth, dense formula to it. It is very easy to build up to opacity. I think two coats is going to be perfect for most. This has such a flattering, a grungy sort of dusky purple. Um, I personally love 90s makeup for that regard. Uh, all the browns and the neutral tones and things like that. So this definitely nails it for that. There is so much shimmer and holographic goodies in this one too. And finishing off with a glossy top coat leaves you nice and shiny and pampered polishes brings us just blowing it this is a murky leaning green jelly with silver and holographic flakes inspired by the green see-through nintendo 64 price is 13 and there is no cap so this has a, a very true jelly-like formula to it. And for opacity, I'm going to suggest three coats. This is what I would consider more of one of those juicy jelly, uh, somewhat softer sort of finishes. So depending on the uh, prominence of your free edge, if it's like mine, even at three light to normal coats, you might see just a touch of your smile line. So if that bugs you, um, you might want to use a uh, color correcting base coat. More on that in a moment as there is one going to be offered this month. But this one dries down uh, glossy, so I think any top coat will be perfectly fine with it. And I really liked how this one has that uh, reflective sparkle sort of finish. And Penelope Loose brings us Love Never Dies. This is a blood red magnetic with duochrome red to copper and cherry glitters. This is inspired by Bram Stoker's Dracula. Price is 13 and there's a cap of 700. So this is really rich, intense, and just wonderful for opacity. I think two coats is going to be perfect on it. Now, those of you who are new to magnetic polishes, uh, please note when you use magnetic type of polishes, I would strongly suggest going in just a touch generous on your last coat so that you have plenty of pigment to work with with a magnet. Now, I am purposely showing you guys what this looks like unmagnetized as I thought it was very, very pretty even without using the magnet. And uh, it does dry down flat, so you're going to want to use a good glossy top coat. And uh, I did just that. And then now I'm going in with DRK's uh, Magic Magnetic Top Coat. And uh, I think it'll give you a nice idea of the uh, magnetic effect. So you'll get this strong uh, gold sort of cast, almost like a copperish sort of look. And um, my line is a bit faint here. And I think it's just because I might not have used enough of that Magic Magnetic Top Coat. But Regardless, uh, magnetize and unmagnetize, I think it's very lovely. Um, but again, finish off with a good glossy top coat. And Poetry Cowgirl brings us Don't Speak. This is a cobalt blue jelly with green to blue to violet iridescent flakes, hot orange glitters, and peach and azure micro flakies. This is inspired by the No Doubt Covered. Price is 12 and there is no cap. So this has a very jelly formula to it. It does have a bit of a heavier feel on application. And I think it's because it's also just chock full of glitters and goodies here. So for opacity, I'm going to suggest between two and three coats. This is absolutely going to depend on your preference uh, and the length of your nails. At this point, my nails are uh, quite longer than what I normally keep them. So I found that two normal coats on that middle nail there was perfect but some of the other nails i felt like i needed a third coat so definitely gonna depend and i'm going to suggest also a glitter smoothing top coat and pretty beautiful unlimited brings us the future is not set this is a black to colorless thermal with holographic pigment unicorn shifting shimmer purple to red to gold crystal chameleon flakes and black red and silver holographic micro glitters this is inspired by Terminator 2. Price is $12.50 and there is a cap of 160 bottles. So this has a very uh, jelly sort of finish to it. It's got a bit of a curly lean in that it's got that bouncy sort of squishy effect on application. I think two coats is going to be uh, pretty good for most given that the warm state has this uh, 
sort of off white sort of appearance uh, in how it looks. So if you have a very prominent free edge, I think you might see a touch of your smile line depending if, if your nails are fully in the warm state, it's just gonna really depend. Uh, but the ice water shot, I think gives you a really good idea of the warm to cold states. And Rogue Lacquer brings us It's Gonna Be May. This is a white curly with gold to purple to blue and copper metallic flakes. This is inspired by NSYNC's first album cover. Price is $12.50 and there is no cap. So this has a very uh, just super smooth, very dense curly formula to it. Very easy to build up, very easy to also spread across your nail. And I think two coats is going to be perfect for most. This is uh, quite lovely. And I really like the uh, just general mixture of flakes in this one. Um, I definitely have to hand it to Rogue. She knows her way uh, with flaky polishes and finishes like this. I really like it. Now this dries down very flat, very, very flat. So you're going to want to use a good glossy top coat, maybe even, even a glitter smoothing top coat to finish it off. And Sassy Sauce Polish brings us I Love You. This is a thermal polish that tr transitions from purple when cold to a bright neon pink when warm with strong red to golden shimmer loaded with purple to blue to pink to green shifting ghost flakes. This is inspired by Furby. Price is $12.50 and there is a cap of 400 bottles. So this is a uh, very, very vibrant. I personally had two Furbies. Um, I was a bit of a spoiled brat that year for Christmas, uh, but I love Furbies. They're so cute. Uh, I digress. So we have a jelly formula that builds very quickly to opacity. Both of the thermal states in this are uh, quite vibrant. There's this very strong hot pink when warm and that really nice electric purple when cold. And I think the flakes flatter both color states very well. And the ice water shot, I think, kind of shows it off a little bit better. And you can see how uh, the purple just really pops against with those flakes. But the hot pink is also quite vibrant, too. So finish off with a good glossy top coat to give you that juicy jelly effect. And Scaflaw Nail Varnish brings us Delia's catalog. This is a gray curly packed with glitters and shimmer in violet, purple, berry, and black, inspired by the namesake. Price is $12.50 and there is no cap. So you can see there's that butt shot there for the bottle. This has a, a very curly formula, really nice, just uh, another polish that really just captures the 90s in a bottle here. I think the makers did so good this month. Now, this is a very very easy to build to opacity, nice, rich, very uh, dense sort of formula. I had no issues getting quite a bit of those glitters out of the bottle, so no problems there. Now this does dry down quite flat, thirsty for top coat, so you're gonna wanna use a glitter smoothing top coat to uh, smooth this one out underneath your glossy top coat. So I think for the most part, most are gonna be perfectly fine at two coats. I really can't see many needing to go to three as it does have that more uh, viscous, like dense formula. And Sweet and Sour Lacquer brings us Smicky Sauce Base Coat. This is a base coat formulated to even out any ridges in the nails in addition to helping prevent stains. It's also a sticky base coat, so it helps your polishes ad uh, adhere a little better. The price on this one will be seven, and there is a cap of 120. So this has a smooth sort of feel to it. And Sweet and Sour is also bringing us Lost in Five. This is a pink jelly loaded with colorful glitters in various shapes and sizes. This is inspired by Stick on Earrings. Price is $12.50 and there is a cap of 300 bottles. So I'm using this one over her sticky base coat. Um, P.S. I personally like base coats that have that milky sort of feel to it. Uh, just my personal preference, but I just like when they have that look to them. Now, Lost in Five is absolutely chock full of glitters. It's really fun. Um, and I'm going to strongly suggest following the way that I am applying in the video if you uh, pick this one up because it's worth it. But I think it takes a little bit of finesse in order to get that nice even appearance without overbuilding it to where you get it too chunky to smooth out. So start off real thin on the first coat and then go in and just gentle place around with your glitters on the second coat. 
and finish off with a glitter smoothing top coat and a glossy top coat and uh, just super cute. This is another one that is absolutely 90s in a bottle. And Watcha brings us BB Cream for Nails. This is a milky, curly base coat with vitamins that helps blur the nail line. Price will be 10 with a cap of 200. So this has a very smooth, creamy feel on application. It applies more like a cream polish in my opinion, but um, according to the instructions, it states that this can be used as a base coat period, the end. So uh, I'm changing it up a little bit and I'm hoping this angle gives you guys an idea. I personally really liked the tint, the specific color of this blurring base coat because this leaned like a straight up foundation color on myself. I thought this really looked uh, like an actual true nude for my skin tone. And while it may not super matter because you're at the end of the day, you're just blurring your nail line to uh, use more sheer polishes and not see your smile line. Um, I do think that that's an interesting uh, kind of double way that I could use this as a true nude on myself. So just figured it was worth throwing it out there. Now I'm using a, a jelly polish, which uh, basically no matter how many coats you do typically on a true jelly, you're going to see your smile line regardless. So uh, I think this is going to kind of give you guys a little bit better of an idea. And here I finished off with a glossy top coat. You can see that there is quite a bit of a difference with the uh, overall look of my smile line and how prominent it looks. And Watcha also brings us Heart of the Ocean. This is a dark blue jelly base with flakes and glitter. This is inspired by the Titanic necklace. Price is 13 and there's a cap of 220 bottles. So the formula on this is dense and heavy and very easy to build to opacity. Um, it pops really well. So it starts off looking like uh, a little bit on the sheer side, but just way on the second coat here, it just popped so strongly and I really liked how the blue flakes and the glitters they just kind of give that really strong sapphire effect so another one that I think nailed the inspiration overall now this is a uh, thirsty for top coat so you're going to want to use a thin coat of a glitter smoothing top coat underneath your glossy top coat in my opinion and it's going to leave you nice and glossy and just really really vampy and blue and very pretty now Polish Pickup opens up for shopping April 2nd at 11 a.m. Eastern Time through April 5th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. I will link you guys below to the uh, website. Wish listing is currently going on right now. Um, I personally have a lot of polishes on my wish list. If you're curious, I'll read them out to you guys real quick. I have the Off the Hook Creations uh, cat toy. I've got the uh, Healthy Fawns on the go bag. It's super cute. I've got Wildflower Lacquer, Painted Polish, Dreamland Lacquer, and Bees Knees all on my wish list right now. And that's um, just for right now. I'm probably going to add some more over the next day or two. Uh, such a really fun month. Now, also, please don't forget to join my giveaway. All you got to do is leave a comment below. Uh, let me know what you're getting. Let me know if you're skipping this month. Uh, all that good stuff. And I will, again, pick a random comment to win a $10 PPU gift code. So the giveaway will run until this Wednesday and uh, I will do a pinned comment once I choose winners if it uh, hopefully helps. Uh, I did have one winner from last month not email me so uh, please go back on the previous polish pickup videos and double check if your name has been chosen. Uh, I do keep all of the codes. They don't expire or anything so um, just let me know. I'd love for everyone to get their codes but uh, please please go back and check the other videos too. So I'll also link you guys to the Facebook group for Polish Pickup if you'd like to see additional swatches and when voting goes on for themes and all that fun stuff. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.